Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and I am talking all about the top 10 scary items traded on the internet part 2. You guys loved part 1 so much and you loved our video sponsor Buns so we thought we would bring you a second helping. Buns are back on board too which is absolutely great. So if you missed part 1 and you haven't heard of Buns or you haven't downloaded the app yet I want to tell you about it. I use it all of the time and you can find me on Buns at Rebecca Felgate. Now earlier this week I traded the Buns cryptocurrency BTZ for a board game. Hooray! Buns is a trading app that is great for building community. Now the Buns community is thriving in Toronto where I live and hopefully it is in your town and city too. If you download Buns and there aren't any people trading in your community yet then you can be a leader and start the trading community for your very self. You never know what someone in your hood may want to swap, you might need it. Download Buns using me as your referral, at Rebecca Felgate, no spaces, and you get BTZ which is a currency that you can send to other users or use in local stores as like actual money. I use mine to buy groceries and I'm not gonna lie, beer at local breweries. Cheers to that. Buns have also just rolled out advertising too so you can earn BTZ for watching an ad. Download our unique Buns code which you can find in the description box to get started. Don't forget to add at Rebecca Felgate, no spaces as the referral. Warning though, there are a few weird things on there. But I will say, one person's creepy is another person's treasure and all. So, with that in mind, back to the video. Also, if you feel like you're liking this at any time, show me by leaving a thumbs up. Thank you. Coming in at number 10, this is on buns, we have a jar of teeth. Blah. If only I had known about these teeth when I was having dental problems last year. La ha 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 ha, there they are in a jar. So yeah, right now there is a quote unquote small jar of human teeth available for trade in Toronto. The jar contains wisdom teeth and baby teeth apparently. It also seems to contain a solitary rotten tooth that was extracted some time ago. Something about other people's disembodied teeth like call me crazy but I'm not here for it. Sorry Anna. Although jokes on me as I've looked at this listing and the trade is pending. I'm honestly wondering what you trade teeth for. Coming in at number 9 we have dark web mystery boxes. One of the latest trends on the internet is to exchange cryptocurrencies on the dark web for mystery boxes. The reason people use crypto is because it's not as traceable. Basically the whole thing kicked off when youtubers started taking the unboxing trend just way too far. Stars like Ice Poseidon and IMJ Station started unboxing parcels that they brought off the dark web. IMJ Station paid $1,000 for a mystery box containing animal remains, a Dybok evil spirit box and photos taken from outside his house which for me is just too much. YouTuber Killam bought one too and gained himself 5 million views for his unboxing. He got a teddy bear stuffed with a white powder, a voodoo doll, a satanic children's book, a disembodied doll with swastikas on parts of it and what looked like a murder weapon. While this trade does seem super scary, I did come across a reddit post by lurking horror writer who claimed to be one of the people that puts together such dark web boxes. They claimed that they were comprised of just random things they found about their home such as like rusty screwdrivers and USB sticks which they loaded with scary pictures. They then sold the boxes to idiots like us for massive returns. Genius. Coming into number 8 we have snakeskin. Fellow Slytherin buns in the house, wave your hand at me or your snaky snaky tail. I have to say though the thought of trading skin doesn't make me feel okay, especially shed skin from a serpent. I understand why this would be an interesting trade for some people though, as this corn snake is going for just 3 bucks a jar so, ah, but again, a jar of skin. The Bunza will also accept a tea or a latte. There really to me though is something unappetizing about a beverage being a trade for a jar of skin but each to their own. Coming in at number 7 we have a testicle for a car. Would you rather have balls or wheels? Mike Parisi chose the latter. In 2013 Mike Parisi from Las Vegas appeared on a TV show Extreme Cheapskates on the TLC network. He said he planned to have one of his testicles removed as part of a medical trial. The trial would pay him $35,000 which he wanted for a Nissan 370Z. Let's have a look at this car shall we? Gents, what would you prefer? Would you trade one ball for a two dollar or car with two seats in it. The thing is though, cars don't hold their value in balls, I don't have them, metaphorically sure but physically no, balls are kind of 
invaluable, right? This is actually super sad. Coming in at number six, we have the body trade. A Reuters journalist was involved in a trade for body parts, or for a story. It seemed after just a few emails back and forth, Brian Grow was able to procure two heads and a spine. The spine came from a young man whose family were too poor to be able to bury him, so they donated his body to science. Or so they thought. It seems that the company Restore Life sells on donated bodies to researchers, but it's surprisingly easy to get hold of them. Reuters then traded the parts to the University of Minnesota Medical School once they'd got their story. The director, Angela MacArthur, said, I haven't seen anything this egregious before. I worry about the future of body donation and public trust in body donation when we have situations like this. Honestly, Angela, I feel you. Coming into number five, we have a kidney for an iPad. I'm honestly trying to get rid of my old iPad and there's some hooligan out there who just was so desperate for one that they sold their kidney and that makes me actually really 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 sad. This is actually like, I don't know, yeah pretty depressing. The 17 year old, known only as Little Sheng, was from a poor district in China. In 2011, he got in touch with a group that harvests organs in order to raise 3,500 US dollars to buy Apple products. Now this included an iPad. The teen only got 10% of the money from his organ, with the rest the harvesters kept for themselves. The gang were later intercepted and put on trial, including gang leader Hiwi. I guess the truly sad thing about this trade is that a lot of Apple products are actually made in factories in China, but a lot of people living in the country can't afford them, so they resort to crazy things like selling their kidneys to be able to buy them. To me though, having an iPad really just isn't that important. Coming in at number four, we have nudes for a scooter. I would trade nudes for absolutely nothing. But Mary, an Italian law student, started trading pictures in December 2013 in order to obtain a moped. She started leaving advertisements around the city of Naples, which led to some concerned people contacting the authorities. Mary covers her face in the ad and doesn't reveal her last name. She did create a Facebook page advertising her wares, and when contacted by the press, she said, I've had a lot of sales, but those who buy my pictures want to stay anonymous. I don't think I'm doing any harm or corrupting anyone. Some weeks after the whole thing went viral, it was actually revealed to all be a hoax in a viral marketing campaign for a photo contest in the city of Naples. This is super weird. Coming in at number three, we have a male table in exchange for feet to rest on him. Oh, oh, Craigslist, you're an endless source of creepy joy. It seems in London in 2013, a gentleman posted an ad offering himself as human furniture. The ad reads, Ever imagined having an attractive man kneel chivalrously on the floor while you comfortably rest your favourite heels on him like a footstool? Like, literally, never. They added, Perhaps you could be decadently flicking through a copy of Vogue magazine as you do so, or maybe simply using him as a chair or a convenient and portable table for your cocktail glass. Get treated like a princess by a polite, intelligent, sane and respectful gent who just happens to enjoy being used as furniture by ladies. Get in touch for fun and slightly daring new experiences. <sighs> So the trade here is literally allow a man to be a table man acts like table. Honestly, weird to me. I also enjoy how he highlighted that he's sane because does anyone sane ever need to mention that they're sane? Questions, questions. Okay, this made me want to vomit. Coming in at number two, we have belly button lint. Ugh. Ugh. No. Back at it again with the disturbing Craigslist trades, honestly. This one comes with a picture, and I am absolutely not here for it. The post reads, I have a collection of belly button lint. I'll trade for muscle car, gold coins, work, or cash offer. Oh, and motorcycles. So if you're in Baltimore and you guys want some homegrown belly button fluff, then this guy is your guy. <laughs> Why? Why? Internet. This is why we can't have nice things. Finally, at number one, I love antiques, I love vintage. This is a vintage jumpsuit, but there is a time and a place for second hand, and I would say it isn't when burying your dead. Finally, coming into number one, another bun spectacular, we have a used coffin. Used. This so called antique coffin seems to currently live outside someone's house in Toronto. The description reads You read that right. We're looking for offers for our beloved antique coffin. I'm not desperate to move it, so the trade would have to be very intriguing, or at the very least, mutually beneficial. One fellow Bunza wanted a picture with the lid open, and honestly, I kind of want to see what's inside. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. The poster added some further insight, saying that the bottom fabric of the coffin was removed due to staining 
which made me feel very, very, very uncomfortable. I love you buns, but what is this? So guys, there we go. That was the top 10 scary things traded on the internet part two. What did you think to this list? Which do you think is the scariest trade? Is there anything on this list that you actually want? Let me know. Thank you once again to our sponsors, Buns. Do download the link for the app in the description box and use at Rebecca Felgate with no spaces as the referral. Then get trading for awesome stuff in your community. Maybe you can trade with me. Let me know what you found. Honestly, I'm not peddling anything creepy, I don't think. Yeah, anyway, maybe I will. Maybe this whole video's turned me to never belly button fluff, let's be honest. Ugh. Before I go, I'm actually gonna read some comments from part one. You guys seem to love the whole trading thing. But White Court said, Can you exchange your annoying brother or sister in buns? I mean, you can try. Mama Jackie said, I traded my neighbor a six pack of beers for a kitten. My cat is now six years old and I named him Stubbies, Aussie slang for bottles of beer. I know that I had a few Stubbies in Australia myself. Shout out Australia, you don't get enough shout outs. And I know you exist. Uh, I think actually you got the best end of the bargain there. Like, I do love beer, don't get me wrong, it's what I spend my BTZ on a lot of the time, but a cat, so cute. I wanna see Stubbies the cat. Meow. Okay, I've started meowing on camera, so it's probably time for me to go home. Thank you once again for watching this video. I love buns. Like this video, share it with a friend. I'm Rebecca Felgate. I'll see you soon. Meow.